the holy grail for all of cancer biology at the moment is to really understand the specific pathways that govern each tumor type in the hope that you don't just zap people with antimitotic agents, the chemotherapeutics, all the, the usual therapeutic avenues that you take that are what's called non-directed. They're targeted at fast growing tissues. So that's a problem because we've got lots of fast growing tissues in us. So the side effects are multiple. Uh, they work, um, mm -hmm. so there are fallback mechanisms, but in terms of treating a given tumor, what we're always looking for are those specific pathways that promote their growth. And that, a very good example of that are the selective estrogen uh, receptor modulators, the serums, the tamoxifens, the uh, anti-estrogens that 70% uh, probably of breast tumor patients will be treated with because that's the tumor driver for those breast tumor patients. The basic research community meets with the clinical, the medical oncologists and the surgeons regularly and they are the people charged with dealing with Mrs. X that comes in and might die um, if of the brain meds. So there is a very immediate, that really brings our attention up to, the, uh, up to a real focus, I think, because there are real people on the end of this. And, and so even though, I, for example, my lab will proceed very much a, on a basic research mechanism, we always have an eye to the translational application uh, to trying to understand the process and make sure that anything that we find out can actually be adapted for use and that we do know the right people to go to and ask uh, if we actually think we've got a lead that might help.